Hi, this video is going to cover um, us finishing the proposal for your customer. So when you're in the proposal build tool, you can then go to actions if you're ready to finish the proposal and go to finish proposal. It'll then take you here into the finish proposal options. You can first start by selecting what type of proposal you want. Do you want to filter it by system? by category, by location, by manufacturer. For this demonstration, we'll do by location. Then we have an advanced options where you can select and customize how you want the proposal to appear. For instance, you can decide if you want to display product images or show line item pricing. Do you want to summarize packages or summarize accessories? Do you want to break labor out by phase or just have one lumped labor? Whatever you'd like, you can go through here and customize it. When you're done selecting what you do and don't want to show, you can then save this report to all types, to this, this report type, or just this report. That's up to you. Then you can go down into the display system section. And if you recall, again, when you set up those systems, if you just want to show all the product related to the control system, um, systems you can just turn off the audio video and the televisions and it'll only show the product related to this system um, or if you want to just keep everything visible just keep everything checked you can then go and create your own color scheme to you can create multiple color schemes that match your brand and to add a new color scheme just hit the add um, new right here and it'll pull up the color scheme you'll give it a name and then you can select the color scheme you'd like accordingly and then you can also upload custom cover images so if you want any kind of cover image you want to upload and you can build a library here to choose from then you'll just grab the cover image you want to display and then you have two options you can either download a PDF of the proposal or you can email um, use our email services to email the proposal and track it um, if you use our email feature, just click on the email. Here's where you can put in where it's from and your email, where you're sending it to and their email. Um, you can give, you can select a template. Remember in the settings you can create templated emails if you'd like to. Or you can just type your own email. You don't have to create a um, template. You can put in the subject that you want. This is what the customer then views is they get the email. It does the autofill feature if you use the template um, with a link to the proposal. And if they click on the link to the proposal, it then brings up the proposal for them. It has your brands and uh, color and everything on there, all the client information, the custom cover image you uploaded. It has your company logo and information. Then you have the scope of work, which in mo normal cases would be longer than a sentence, but it's only a sentence in this case. Um, then remember how we chose to break all the equipment out by location? So everything's filtered by location. And we kept uh, product images, line item pricing. So just go through. We broke labor out by phase. But again, you could have one chunk uh, labor if you'd like to. Here's the payment schedule, and it did all the math for you um, based on that payment schedule. Here's the contract you selected, and again, it would be longer than a sentence. And then they can either, the customer has an option to decline it or approve it. <clears throat> if they do decline it, um, it does bring up a little box where they can type in a message and submit it, and you will get an email notification of maybe changes or whatever they want you to do. Or if they do ex um, approve it, they can do click on the digital signature, they can sign it. Then they want to hit save signature. And then they'll want to submit a response. <clears throat> and then this does um, submit, send you an email notification and a notification inside the software um, that the proposal has been um, approved and everything. So if you go into the proposal, and go to revisions. You can see the date and the time this was approved. Um, 
right here. And that concludes uh, creating the finished proposal for your customer.